Hello and welcome to Shredder's Zoo. Today we're taking a closer look at the Thorny Dragon. The Thorny Dragon is an interesting creature here in Ark. It is based on the real life lizard known by several names such as Thorny Lizard, Thorny Devil, Mountain Devil or the Moloch. As you can see, here in Ark, as usual with many smaller animals, the game developers have just increased its size to fantasy proportions. In life, the thorny dragon grows up to 20 centimeters, that's about 7.9 inches, and can live for up to 20 years. Many creatures here in Ark have their features exaggerated, especially when it comes to spikes. Just look at the Ankylosaurus or the Kentrosaurus or even the Mammoth. Yes, these animals had spikes or tusks, but not as many or as large as they are sometimes depicted. But with the thorny dragon, there actually seems to be fewer spikes on Ark's version than on the real thing. These spikes serve as a defense against predators, making it difficult to swallow. But it is also well camouflaged against the sandy soils of central and western Australia where it lives. Their colours are usually a pale yellow and red, that's when they are warm and active. When the lizard is cold, it is a dark olive. It can also rapidly change colour when it, it is alarmed. When walking, the lizard may freeze suddenly, often with one leg in the air, presumably to make it harder to see. But the spikes also serve another life-saving function. Thorny dragons collect moisture in the dry desert by the condensation of dew on their bodies at night. This dew forms on its skin, and then it is channeled to its mouth in hygroscopic grooves between its spines. During rainfalls, capillary action allows the thorny dragon to absorb water from all over its body. If you put a very thin straw into some water, some water will rise up in the straw above the water level. That's capillary action. It's said that if you put a thorny dragon in a puddle, it would be able to suck up the water just by standing in it. For food, the thorny dragon will eat mainly ants. They wait by an ant trail and use their long, sticky tongue to catch them once at a time as they walk past. They can eat 45 ants in a minute and will eat thousands of them in a single day. One feature of the thorny dragon that seems to be missing here in Ark is a large, fleshy, spiny lump on its neck. This is a false head, and when threatened, the thorny dragon tucks its real head between its front legs and presents the larger, false head while puffing up its body. Together, these features present a bigger ball of spikes that hopefully deter the would-be predator. Initially, it was thought that the thorny devil would sacrifice the false head when it was attacked, a bit like other lizards can drop their tail. But nobody has ever seen the thorny devil without the false head. They have, however, seen them with humps that were damaged as if something had chewed on them. Despite its looks and spines, the thorny devil often falls prey to other animals, mainly bustards, goannas and feral cats. Goannas also find and dig up the eggs of the thorny devils. But the worst threat the thorny devils face is not from other animals, it's from humans and habitat destruction. Well, that's all I have for you this week. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope you've enjoyed the video and you've learned something new. If you did, please let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. And I hope to see you next time for more here at Shredder Zoo. Goodbye.